When I step into that cage, I'm no longer Sharon Jacobson, the sister, the friend, the aunt, the daughter. I am now Sharon Jacobson, the competitor. I am now the dream catcher. I am now my performer self. I'm 31 years old. I'm a sergeant in the U.S. Army, and I'm fighting out of Colorado Springs, Colorado. Growing up in Southern California, I was really influenced by my older brother, Zach. He always had us doing crazy stuff, competing with each other, competing with boys. He had me box his friend Joey, and he knocked my last baby tooth out of my mouth. <laughs> you know, things like that. You went out, you rode bikes, you went swimming, you got dirty, you built forts. It's a lot more interesting than just playing at home with your dolls. So I started wrestling when I was 16 years old. I was really quiet and timid then, but I had this feistiness, I guess, in me. It was a socially appropriate way to let it out. From 2005 to 2012, I was typically national team or top three in the nation. Uh, I retired in 2012, but I did earn a national championship in university and seniors in 2006. My goal was the Olympics and never quite, I never quite got that. but. This is a new day, this is a new, a new dream, this is a new pursuit, so now my, my goal is those belts. In MMA, there's so many different aspects, you know. I take it like one or two things at a time, so like boxing, footwork, you know, loosening up these shoulders so I can, you know, pop them off. Jiu-Jitsu, learning one or two moves, learning and mastering each thing, one or two things at a time. Psychology of competition started with me in high school. Before sports psychology, I really was a different type of competitor. I was very nervous energy. Everything was almost spastic. I really used to struggle. I, I really want to get this, but I was bracing and not allowing myself to flow and be free and, and just react or initiate reaction. I personally see Dr. Edward Chavez here in Colorado Springs for sports psychology. Some people see it as a weakness. I think that's pride and that'll only keep you from reaching a whole different level. I have a mind gym where I go in and in the different rooms, there's like a video room where I watch myself wrestle or, or fight. And there's a healing room if I have an injury. He's definitely one of the key members of my team. I definitely say that MMA is my second chance. It's definitely a way for me to achieve greatness, to be that number one. I'm constantly honing my MMA game. Wrestling, I really work on drilling, creating that physical muscle memory, working on my jiu-jitsu, getting comfortable in those uncomfortable situations. Sparring, head movement, footwork. Footwork is huge. Once my footwork started picking up, everything else just started to fall into place. It was really liberating, realizing, hey, I'm good at this. Hey, I can be good at a lot of things if I just, you know, put a little fight into it. None of these girls are gonna tire me out. They don't know what a real fight is until they've been through one with me. Being trained on an Olympic level with Olympic caliber athletes in wrestling puts me in a different level. People think they know what hard is. They think that they're trained. They think that they're ready, but they lose wind. I won't get tired. They will see when they step in the cage with me that I want to be a mixed martial artist. It's time to show the world what I can do.